Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. Uh, today we're looking at uh, Whisper Vocals in Synthesizer V. And um, we're going to handle this in two slightly different ways. One for spoken word and one for sung vocals with just super husky voice. Uh, and we're going to start with uh, spoken word vocals. And this kind of has come up a couple of times um, in my life and, and uh, recent, most recently I tried to do um, spoken word vocals for my RPM challenge and uh, this is what I ended up with. Uh, and the way I went about uh, doing that was way more complicated than it needed to be and today we're going to do the simplified version of that for spoken word. So let's get my DAW up and we're going to uh, start with a channel of Synthesizer V. And uh, this works with most of the English speaking voices. I don't know if it works with others because English is the only language I know so I don't know how you would uh, kind of uh, write in different languages. So um, I'm just going to stick with uh, English speaking uh, singers here. And so um, I have all the uh, English speaking singers that are available for Synthesizer V, I believe. Um, and uh, this works for all of them except for Richie, um, Asterian, and Nine Zero. Uh, the reason it doesn't work for 9.0 and Richie is because they don't have one of the vocal modes that we use, so they're going to uh, need to deal with them in a slightly different way. And with Asterion, it's because his voice is so low, it's kind of pitched very differently than all the other voices, so it requires a slightly different approach. So we're going to stick with one of the main ones now. We're going to start with Solaria here. And um, so first of all, we're just going to give her something to say. Now, as I said, this is for uh, spoken word, so it's non-pitched as such. Um, the pitch does actually matter for the result. What I would say is for female sounding voices, stick to under C4, and for male sounding voices, stick to under G3 as a starting point. There are some uh, pitches that work better th than others for spoken word, and it's a case of um, trial and error pretty much to try and find the right one for your voice, for the voice you're using. Um, but I would say if you, if you stick with those as a baseline, um, then you should be doing okay. Uh, so we're going to put this on A3 for, um, for Solaria, and we're just going to have her say, um, read my mind. Okay, now the thing with um, Synthesizer V is obviously when you use a word spelling that is used for multiple words, it can't possibly know which one you want. And I know for a fact that it's going to think I want red here. Read my mind. Okay, so what we're going to do is just change red to read. I don't know off the top of my head what the uh, syllable sound is, what the phoneme I need is. So what I'll do, what I tend to do is find another word with that sound. So I'm going to use C for uh, to sound like read. C. So I know that the E sound in C is IY there. So I'm just going to change that here too. So the EH sound is E as in red read my mind. So I'm just going to take those out and put in IY. Now I can delete that one. Okay. Um, read my mind. Okay, so now we have her saying the right, right words. The first thing we're going to do is um, change this to a rap mode because we're doing spoken word. And that just kind of gets rid of most of the pitch information. And the next thing we're do, going to do is choose the vocal mode. So the vocal mode for any of these needs to be soft. And what I would say is start by setting it at 100%. You may be able to increase it all the way to 150%. But if we start with 100, 
uh, it's less likely to uh, introduce artifacts once we change a bunch of things. Um, if you start at kind of within a limited parameter range, then you avoid these artifacts. And then once you've got a kind of baseline that works, but you want to tweak, you can increase these things. And once they start giving you these artifacts, you can back them off again and you know what's actually caused it. Okay, so um, as I said, pitch matters. And let's just have a listen to what we've got here. Read my mind. So when you're doing spoken word, you can keep, normally keep within a range of around about two tones. So say between F and A, everything can. And uh, you just use these different pitches to emphasize or de-emphasize words. So I would say as a baseline, let's say we say my baseline is G, read my mind. And then what we're going to do is emphasize the word read. So we use a higher pitch, so A for that. And then mind, we're going to de-emphasize a little bit by just going down half a tone. Read my mind. Okay, that'll do for now. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, change some other, uh, change some parameters. And uh, we're going to start with loudness. Loudness will take up basically because, you know, it's whisper vocals, so it's going to be quiet. This doesn't actually change the quality, so we can take that all the way up with no problems there. Tension doesn't make any difference at all, so we're just going to leave that at zero. Breathiness does make a difference. We're going to set it to no more than 0.3 to start with. Gender and tone shift we're going to leave as zero. If you do want to change uh, the gender control, you can, uh, I would say, just make it kind of a minor change. I don't, if you've ever used the gender slider, you know that a little bit goes a long way. So I would say don't go past around about 0.1. Um, but for now, we're just going to keep it as zero. The other parameter that we need to change is actually not over here in the uh, in this panel. It's actually in the parameters panel, which appears underneath the piano roll. If you don't see it, uh, just come up to the little burger above the piano roll and say add parameter panel. And the parameter we're looking to edit is called voicing. That's normally set at well, it's at plus 12 dB. I, I call it 100% because there's really no um, no kind of uh, measurement for this. <clears throat> so uh, voiced is 100% and then unvoiced as zero. Again, we don't want to avoid uh, extremes, so we're going to set it to a level of around about 10%. So right down here. It's very approximate, but... That's what we're going to do. And that should give us a baseline for our voice. Read my mind. Sounds pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to come back to our DAW and to our channel settings. First of all, I'm going to gain a little bit because I know that's pretty quiet. Now, um, for a spoken word, there's two ways we can do this. We can either, either use like a low shelf filter uh, like this, or we can use um, a, uh, a low cut filter like this. So I'm actually going to choose a low cut filter and use fairly extreme settings. And the frequency at which we're setting this, regardless of which one you use, is around about 700 hertz. That's where we're actually going to start. So taking that out should give us something like... Yeah, much more whispery. Okay, good. And what we can do in this case, uh, it's still pretty quiet, so we can uh, just boost the highs a little bit. So just put high shell filter there, around about 5, five dBs there. And uh, we're going to add also a compressor just to help us a little bit too. Actually, that's probably pretty good sense. Read my mind. Excellent. And now all we need is a reverb. Read 
So that's sounding pretty good, uh, fairly convincing, and um, that's kind of all we need to do. Once you've got your base settings, uh, you can kind of make adjustments as you need to, um, but that should work for all these voices. Let's just change to a different voice and hear what it sounds like with a couple of different ones. So let's change to Natalie. Okay, sounds very different. Uh, one other thing I'll mention here is that um, these fairly extreme peaks and troughs here can make, uh, can introduce artifacts. So what I would say is it can sometimes be good to, to kind of smooth those out. So I would just change pencil tool and to uh, the, whatever that is, <laughs> the uh, pitch editing mode and just kind of straighten it out, just kind of draw in here. And what we're going to do is go right down at the end here, like that. Read my mind. Read my mind. Okay, and let's try one of the male sounding voices. Let's try Hayden. Read my mind. Okay, with Hayden, obviously way too much EQ on the high end there, so we can take that out. Read my mind. And you might find that if his voice was pitched lower, it might sound better too. And let's just straighten that out a little bit. Read my mind. And there you go. So that's how we do that. That's how we do spoken voice. Now, if you want to do sung words, but kind of with a uh, soft husky voice instead, basically it's a case of using the pitches that you would normally use. We change our vocal mode, uh, sorry, our voice mode, from rap back to sing. Uh, you can also use the manual mode there too. And um, just use the pitches that you would normally use. So for uh, for Hayden, uh, it might be a roundabout there actually, that's not too bad. Oops. So this is gonna be more pitched. We're gonna change the voicing uh, from from like a real low 10% up to around about 30 to 40%, something like that. And um, we're gonna go to our EQ and we want this to be less extreme. So in instead of using this now, we're gonna use um, our uh, kind of low shelf um, is a good way to start. And we're gonna just put that there going to stick with 700 hertz and we're just going to go down maybe 12 db or something like that so that gives a much less extreme result Read my mind. okay his pitch information is pretty messed up there so let's just um we can reset that for starters Read my mind. Okay, and you can kind of come out of that any time, right? So, And so we can take him out of that kind of whisper tone by changing the voice in there. And then we can keep it at 100% if we wish. Read my mind. 
So you can give it a lot of expression from that really breathy kind of almost whisper right the way up and you can use the other settings too so like uh, breathiness is currently at point three well we could take that all the way down or actually into a negative so let's just take that down read my mind to understand me and obviously if you were doing this as sung vocals you would probably not want a reverb like that uh, let's take that down to a more realistic, say two seconds, size down, and then maybe around about 35, let's see. Read my mind to understand me. Okay, and, and again, that can work with any of the voices, so let's just change to Sheena. Read my mind to understand me. And obviously she would normally be singing up in a higher register, so let's take that up to Read my mind to understand me. No, we don't want to go up there, do we? We want to go to about there. Let's see. Let's see. Read my mind to understand me. So you can hear how you can really add a lot of expression through that and that's it for today um thanks for joining me and um have a great day